Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing a USB diamond painting pen from My Crafts Gift. So this is a continuation of a video that I posted yesterday where I unbagged a diamond painting from My Crafts Gift and uh, I also had this in the bag and I said I would do them as two separate videos uh, I prefer to do one thing at a time maybe because I'm a guy, I don't know but um, it keeps the video lengths a bit shorter rather than doing like two or three things in one video so if you want to see the diamond painting that I got I will put a link up here and you can have a look at that but today we're going to have a look at this pen now this was a fluke. Uh, the whole thing was actually because I only found out about my craft's gift um, because an advert popped up on Facebook and I was curious because I'd never heard of the company. So I clicked on it and I found out that they, all of their diamond paintings are, the price is zero. Um, in fact, all of their stuff, their accessories, everything, the price is zero, but you pay shipping. So it isn't free. Uh, the item is free, you pay for shipping. Most of the companies, if they're doing that type of thing, the, you'll pay for the item and shipping is free. So it's just turning it over, but basically it's the same thing as far as I'm concerned. It is not free. So anyway, um, I did the unbagging of the uh, diamond painting and I let people have a quick look at this at the very end of the video um, but just the box so it came in a grey bag with the diamond painting so I've already got rid of that so it comes in a little bag like that and uh, comes in a little case now the case is tin and you can hear stuff inside so it isn't just a diamond painting pen, it comes with some accessories. One in particular caught my attention, but the thing that really caught my attention was the fact that it is a USB diamond painting pen. Now you may wonder, why do you want USB in a diamond painting pen? It's because the pen lights up. Um, and normally this type of pen would have uh, AAA batteries inside it to power it. But this one, you plug it into your computer or power bank and charge it up. So it's a rechargeable battery, um, so you don't need to put batteries in it. Which, uh, in the long run, I suppose it's going to save money, because batteries can be quite expensive. So, this is the box. Um, it's a sort of pastel green. I don't know if that comes across that well, but um, it's a nice colour. I like it. So we'll have a look inside. Let's take that out. And uh, this is what we've got. So we've got the pen inside this little sleeve. And this is what it looks like. So there's actually a couple of things about this that are different. Normally with the pens, um, it's just on or off. It lights up the tip and that's it. This one actually has two light settings. You've got a bright light and you've got a mellow light. It's uh, I think it's like a yellow. So rather than having a harsh white light that you might not like if you're diamond painting, it's, it's kind of dark in the room. You might find that it's just a bit too bright. You can switch it to the yellow light, which is uh, a bit easier on the eye. So that's the, the idea. Um, as I said, it's USB, so... Uh, there you go, you can see. So this is how you charge it. Um, plug a USB cable into, uh, not a cable, a uh, USB port in your computer, just plug it straight into your computer. Or if you have a power bank, um, same thing, just plug the pen in. So you don't have a cable, it's just the pen. Um, the only thing is, I haven't uh, tried it and I haven't charged it, so Okay, I'll line up. That's it. Um, I don't know if it comes with any power, so there's only one way to find out. And we'll flick it. Flick. Uh, we do. We have power, so you can see, uh, pretty bright. And if we go back the way, it should go to a yellow light. Yeah. 
I don't know if you if it, shining it right on the camera probably isn't the best way to do that, but it, so it gives you an idea how bright it is. So you can see that's the white light that you would normally expect. I've never seen a light up pen that had two different colours, and then you have the yellow. So pretty cool. Um, comparing it to a normal diamond painting pen, it is quite a bit thicker. Um, I know that a few people, or quite a few people, find it's difficult to hold these uh, plastic straws because they're, they're so thin. And if you've got problems with arthritis, um, it, it can be uncomfortable using these pens. So this one is a good bit thicker, probably twice as thick actually. Um, it's, it's nice and light, it's not heavy because it doesn't have batteries in it. So that is the pen and we'll have a look at the accessories and there's one in particular that uh, really caught my attention so we'll have a look and see what we get. So we get this little tie that you can uh, put on the pen so you've got a strap for it. Um, I don't know if I would use that to be honest but some people might. And then we have a large multiplacer, a medium multiplacer, a small multiplacer, I'll put these down, so we've got these three so far, um, a gooseneck, diamond painting pen tip, and a normal, if I can get it out, standard diamond painting pen tip. Now the good thing about it is the fact that it takes normal tips. So if you, like me, have quite a few diamond paintings and you have a stack of these pens, all of these tips are spare. So if you accidentally damage this or if it just wears out, you can basically take it out and throw it away and uh, replace it with a tip from one of the standard pens. So that's nice because um, it's a straight, a straight fit, so I like that. They didn't do a fancy tip that you can't get a replacement for, nice and easy. This is the thing that I was really interested in when I read it comes with a magnifying glass. Now, the idea of a magnifying glass, uh, I can definitely see a use for it. How well it's going to work and how practical it's going to be, I have no idea. So there is only one way to find out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually work on the project that I'm working on at the moment, which is Roaring Tiger from uh, Homecraftology. Um, I don't know how much charge is in this. I was actually surprised there was any. But what I'm going to do is um, I'll actually try this. I'll, I'll do some uh, tests with it in different lighting conditions see how things go. Hopefully it lasts long enough. If it doesn't, I'll do uh, another video in the future and uh, show the light and uh, that sort of thing. But even if the light goes, um, we can still have a look at this and see if it actually works. If you can get the magnifying glass at the right angle so you can see. Um, I think quite a few people would find this very helpful for looking at symbols and placing the drills as well. So, as I said, I've never seen one before, I've never even heard of them. And when I saw a USB pen, two different lights, and a magnifying glass, I just had to get it. So, we'll have a look and see how things go. Okay, so this is the project that I am working on at the moment. Uh, and it's from Homecraftology, and it's called Roaring Tiger. If you want to see the unboxing of this one, I'll put a link in the description and then you will be able to see the whole thing. This is one of Homecraftology's new kits with the new drills, the new canvas, the new uh, way of storing the drills. Um, but you'll see all of that in the video. So this is the normal setup that I would use at the moment. I've got a light pad underneath, that's why it's all lit up and I've got a light, an adjustable light, above. So um, this is how I would normally be set up to diamond paint. The reason that I've got the light above is because if I switch it off, looking 
the, the camera is actually compensating for this, but looking at this while you're diamond painting without any other light in the room is uh, a strain on the eye. So I have the other light on top um, just to uh, so that the whole table's basically lit up, but not as bright as the light pad. So the idea with the pen is that the tip of the pen lights up and it helps you to see um, where you're placing the drills. As I said, this has not been charged, so the battery could be about to expire, and then I would need to recharge it. If that happens, um, I'll do a separate video um, just on using the pen and how well it works. So, first thing we have to do is put the tip in the pen, so it's just a matter of uh, pushing it in. And as I said, this is a, a standard tip, and it is extremely tight. Let me twist it in a bit, but that's pretty much it. So the tip is in, so the next thing we need is some pink wax because we can't pick up anything without the wax. So I'll use this piece that's just sitting here. So push the, the pen into the wax, spin it a bit, take it back out. We've got a hole so we know the wax is inside the tip. What I do is just press it with my thumb, wipe across, um, picks up any little bit of uh, excess that you might get. Then uh, we're ready to go. So just checking this um, diamond painting has 50 colours and we're now beginning to get into confetti. Um, whereas before most of it was the same colour so it was just pretty easy checkerboard. Um, a lot of people get bored doing that type of thing but I enjoy it. Now we're starting to get into every other drill is a different colour sort of thing which I like as well so um, we'll see how it goes. So this is the, the colour that I'm on at the moment. When I diamond paint and use a pen um, I am very gentle with the pen um, picking up and putting down so I just touch the drill I don't press it and then I just touch it in the glue now I have been using tweezers, um, I normally use tweezers for squares so um, I'll try to get used to using a pen again but I mean it's working fine so because the pen's just been filled you get a little bit of excess coming out it's a good idea to wipe that off because if you don't it ends up getting in between the drills and it's a pain to try and pick it back out so that always happens at the beginning when you first filled your pen because when the drill uh, goes into the pen tip it pushes a little dent into the wax and the wax comes out around it. So it always happens. The harder you press the worse it is. So that's why um, I always do it lightly. Get less uh, wax coming out of the pen and it means that blob of wax lasts longer. You don't need to press hard. There's no point, it sticks to the glue. Um, so anyway, that's it. So what I'll do now is I'll switch the light pad off. So no light pad now. And I'll switch the pen on. So now we're on to the bright light. You can see um, there is a fair amount of light comes out of the pen. And the idea is that it lights up the area that uh, you're working on, makes it easier to see. So what I'm going to do now is switch this light off. So that looks pretty much like daylight but it isn't in here. Um, I do have one light in the background but it is dark. Um, I can't really see the, the icons so we'll try it. I can see them okay using the pen. Mm, so as I said, this is the, the new Homecraftology kit. The drills, the square drills are extremely good. Um, the gaps are absolutely tiny between the drills. 
and uh, again I, I did a comparison video as well I'll put a link in the description you can have a look at that but um, really nice drills they fit nice and tightly um, so I'm just checking see if I've missed any don't think so time to move on to another colour so switch no, let's switch it off the way the setting goes is in the middle it's off if you push it forward it's the bright light if you push it back it's the yellow light so try and save battery because as I said I haven't charged it so I've no idea how much charge comes with it I was very surprised it actually lit up so I'll put these drills back and I'll switch my light on so I can see <laughs> um, right, the next one is a bracket which is number 35 so 35 put some in the tray don't know many I need I've had a, a good look at it with 35 got some give it a little shake so it drills sit flat and then I'll switch the light off and we'll go for the bright light again for a couple so that one that one and then we'll switch over to the yellow light oh. relax so yellow light is definitely uh, more dull What I'm finding is when I'm looking and I put the the pen over uh, the square that I want to place it, I can't see it. Um, the shadow is right there and it's because the light is all around the pen tip but it isn't bright enough uh, through the wax. I mean it looks like it's lit up, I don't know if that shows but it looks like the wax is lit up. Um, but it causes a shadow, I don't know if you can see it, like a black dot so where you're actually placing the drill goes black which isn't really an issue I don't think, I think uh, once you get used to it because it lights up everything around it so you can still see that you're going to the right place And then if I go back to bright again, it actually does the same thing. You can see, probably see the black dot. So you aim that where you want your drill. Um, just thinking light wise, which one do I prefer? I think this one, the yellow light, I think would be better on your eyes if you were, say you were diamond painting and it was really dark and say somebody else was in the room watching TV and uh, the, I could see the bright light it being an irritation um, versus uh, a much softer light and I think for the diamond painter it would probably be easier on your eyes as well it's definitely bright enough to see the symbols but it'll just be a personal preference so it does work um, if I was doing this with no light and, and this light level that I'm at just now I can't see the icons I just couldn't do it, I can't see so where light up pens could come in handy as well is if you have a power cut or a power outage like you have no electricity so you have no lights you could still diamond paint using this pen. Um, the other thing is if you go on vacation, some people do it, and go, say, camping. You could, if you wanted, you could ca go camping and do a bit of diamond painting at night with no electricity and just use the pen. So it could come in useful for some people. The fact that 
sort of concentrates the light to one specific area. I know that some people don't like light pads because they light up the whole thing. Um, and the thing about the pens is it, it specifically targets an area. So some people may prefer that. The only thing is, I don't know how long the battery lasts. I don't know how long it takes to charge. I didn't see any instructions in it. So it would just be a matter of uh, using it. Charge it up for a while, use it, and see how long it lasts. Um, I would imagine it, it wouldn't take that long to charge. Because it isn't a, a powerful light, but definitely powerful enough. Uh, for diamond painting. So I'm going to switch the light back on and I'm going to switch this light off and I'm going to try the magnifying glass because this really uh, caught my attention. So it comes in a little uh, plastic, sealed plastic sleeve thing which is obviously to stop the, the lens getting scratched which is good. Isn't a bag though, it's just a uh, film. I suppose you could take it off and then restick it, maybe. But, well, it definitely magnifies. The thing that I was wondering about is can you get the angle? So you can see it's got the little bracket, and I take it, we just clip it on. I just hope I don't break it. I have no idea of where it's meant to go, I don't know if it's meant to go on that silver bit, on the green bit. And then you would need to figure out where it's going to go. Now, this does angle. Uh, you can adjust the, the angle of the lens, which obviously you need to do so you can see the tip. I'm trying to turn it so... Try and get it so that you can see what I see, basically. So I've got it on the top of the silver part. It might slide down. I think it's actually meant to be on the green part. Um, I'm trying to look at the camera here to see what you can see. That's weird. Um, anyway, so because I'm looking here, I can still see without the magnify. Uh, when I pick up the drill and then if I t just turn the pen slightly then I can see the magnification which is actually very clear um, I'm very surprised feels kind of weird though um, because that part's magnified I don't know why I'm trying to turn the pen because I, 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 I need to get the drill right so I would need to adjust this further around that works for me but I don't think you can see it so I'm going to turn it back just so you can see a little bit further. A little bit. The reason I'm having to turn it is because I've got the drill sitting straight and ready to put down. So hopefully you can see that. Uh, just need to remember what shape I'm doing. So I wouldn't have it angled like this if I was using it. Just really wanting you to see how much it magnifies. And it does a lot. And I can see people who have poor eyesight and find it difficult to see small things. Definite plus. I'm very impressed with that. You can see how much it magnifies if I go over the, uh, the symbols. Magnifies them as well. But as I said, if I was using it, I would need the bench. I'd pick the drill up, but I would need it about here. For me, that's perfect angle. I can go over. I can see every single symbol, no problem at all. Very clear. Uh, really wasn't expecting it to be this good. So I would imagine you can probably buy these things as accessories somewhere. I've just never seen them before. But this one is for this pen. Um, because I thought about that as well. If I take that off. 
Um, where did I put it? Oh, of course, I moved it. The original pink pen. So if we look at the the normal standard pink pen, won't fit. It's too big. I suppose you could use a piece of tape. Um, but this particular magnifying glass is specifically for this pen. I think I'll clip it on the green part. That's the diameter that it's really set for. And then if I tilt it, you can see. Definitely works. So that's it. Um, USB diamond painting pen has the white light, the yellow light, um, multiple tips and a magnifying glass. I am actually quite impressed with this. So, uh, a light up USB diamond painting pen from My Crafts Gifts. Um, I am very impressed. Uh, I like the pen. Uh, I like the fact that it's a lot thicker than uh, the straw and I think a lot of people will prefer that uh, more comfortable I like the fact it has two lights I think that's a very good idea so you can switch it um, to the yellow light if you find that the white light is just a bit too bright um, and the fact that it's USB means you don't have to buy batteries the flip side of that is that if the power goes in it and you don't have a computer or a power bank nearby you are snookered. Um, whereas if you had one that ran on batteries and you carried spare batteries with you, um, you can just pop new batteries in. I have no idea how long the life uh, expectancy is of uh, the USB, the, the battery that's in it, the rechargeable battery. I imagine it's going to be a long time. That little light does not take much power. I don't know how long it takes to fully charge. I don't know how long it will run before it goes uh, flat. But still, I am very impressed with it. I am very impressed with the magnif magnifying glass. I honestly thought that was just a gimmick. You can actually see the tip there. Um, I really did think that was going to be a gimmick, but it works very, very well. Very clear. Um, I thought it would be a bit iffy, but yeah, it's, it's good. Um, nice and clear. I mean, as a plastic lens, it's not glass. It will scratch, so you have to be careful um, what you're doing with it and where you're storing it. I would suggest you keep it in a little bag and don't have it near your tweezers or anything like that in a box um, because once it gets scratched, that will be it. You can't fix it. Um, the fact that you can tilt it, you can get the angle exactly right for you really good. I thought, I wondered about that as well. I thought, okay, you clip a magnifying glass on, but how do you know the angle is going to be right? You make it right. You just adjust it to what you, what you want. Um, how sturdy that little joint is, I'm not sure. I would say just be careful when you're moving it. I mean, it feels okay, but um, I'm just wondering if over time it'll slacken. I don't know. But very, very handy little thing. Um, if you have problems reading uh, the symbols on diamond paintings because they're so small but that will definitely help um, really impressed the I never tested any of the other tips um, you get three different sizes of multiplacer and you get the angled uh, tip as well for people that don't like to hold the pen straight up and down um, some people use this type so you hold the pen more at a, a normal pen angle and the tip points it down. So some people prefer these. Um, so they give you both. Three sizes of multiplacer, um, which will light up as well. So, um, and a nice little tin. I mean, the tin is the same color as the pen. Just the, the overall feeling of the whole thing is decent quality and somebody has really thought about it with the two lights and um, the magnifying glass, I think, is the big thing, uh, the big surprise for me. Um, so, yeah, I am very impressed with this pen, but I will still use tweezers for squares.
Um, but it does have its uses, uh, like I said, if you're um, diamond painting in a room that's, that's kind of dark and you don't want to disturb anybody else that's in the room, uh, maybe they're watching TV or they're reading a book or something, you don't want a bright light shining about. Um, the fact that you can switch this to yellow I think would definitely help. And if you are out in the wilderness and you get the urge, you can still diamond paint using your little pen, uh, which I think some people will do. So yeah, that was a, a fluke that I found that. Um, a random Facebook advert went in looking to see what they had diamond painting wise and just decided to have a look at accessories. I do that as well. I just look at things sometimes and I think, I wonder if that actually works. So I'll buy it and I'll test it. So this wasn't given to me. I bought the diamond painting, I bought the pen. But the reason that I do it is to try and uh, let people see uh, if they're buying from this company, this is what you can expect. And if you're looking for a light up uh, diamond painting pen, um, this definitely would be one uh, worth looking at, I would say anyway. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was definitely something a bit different. Um, I, I never thought I would be doing a diamond painting pen with a magnifying glass, but I'm glad it did. It works very well. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and hit the notification button. Um, as I said in my last video, I do have a lot of stuff to unbox and unbag. Um, I had a little accident at work and ended up with stitches in my finger, so um, I've been falling behind with the unboxings, but thankfully uh, stitches are out, the wound is healed, and uh, it's back to business as usual. So if you want to catch the next video, uh, please subscribe, hit the notification button, you will get a little message saying that the new video is up, and you will also get a message when I go live on YouTube. If you uh, if you fancy dropping in, having a bit of a chat, having a, a look at what I'm working on, um, we can talk about diamond painting, we can talk about pretty much anything. I enjoy talking to people around the world, just getting to know them a bit better, um, have a bit of a laugh usually, um, and people seem to enjoy it, so it makes it a bit more interesting for me. Normally I sit and listen to music when I diamond paint, but um, I found that sitting chatting to people around the world is quite interesting, I quite enjoy that um, because I never know what the subjects are going to be, we, we talk about everything and anything um, a lot of the times it's, it's very funny um, so if uh, you want to drop in please subscribe and you will get a notification I do not have set days and times, I know that quite a few people have a set day and time trying to fit it in with uh, the real world um, is difficult for me, so um, it's just as and when I find time, um, I just stick the camera on and go. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video, and in the meantime, take care, be safe, and wash your hands.